I'm a little sad. This week, things were called off with a guy I've been seeing for three months. We're both 25. We met on Hinge and live an hour and a half apart. <laughs> I'd, I'd become a Scrooge of the apps and it, I'd, bec- I'd become a Scrooge of the apps uh, and admittedly, I was the worst on them and hardly responded to guys. I don't want to over-romanticize the situation. It probably was just a fluke, but this man caught my attention. Because of where we lived, I initially didn't expect us to make it this far or even pass a date or two. We talked every day, and I quickly became used to always waking up to a good morning text from him for three months straight. I felt like things were going really well despite the challenge of the distance. We have a ton in common and enjoy the same activities, and we were looking forward to skiing slash snowboarding together this season. At the start of us talking, we both lived with our parents. December 1st, I moved into my own place with my dog. I have a decent job that I started in August, and I'm pretty independent. I've actually been working on not being too independent and knowing that it is okay to need other people. He just graduated with his bachelor's degree and is applying to grad school, aiming to start fall of 2022. Last week, he came up to my place, and from my perspective, everything felt great. We went out to dinner, and the conversation was as easy as usual. Walked around downtown, watched a movie, had sex. When he left, he kissed me and said, I love kissing you. I'll see you soon. Okay, now for the screenshots of how things ended. I mean, we went from I'll, I'll see you soon to how things ended. Okay, now the screenshots of how things ended with him claiming that he needs to focus on himself. I don't know if I even have a question or if I just need a J train pep talk or tough love. I'm just so baffled by the whole thing and feel more heartbroken than I'd like to admit for something that was not never even official. Are things that he's saying legitimate or just excuses? I remember having a post-graduation what now quarter life crisis myself. So I'm trying to be empathetic, but it's hard. These messages make things seem pet, uh, pretty final. And it's just a rough for me. Any wisdom you can offer would be appreciated. So you, you ready to read these, Yamanika? Yeah. Who do you want me to be? I'll be him. You be her. You ready? Okay. Ah, you said you're getting your new ski boots. Uh, your new, new boots, not sk- Let me start again. Ah, you said you're getting new boots, not skis, LOL. And we lost two to one, but I was pretty drunk and still scored. Yes, smiley face. I just haven't treated myself to those yet. Laughing emoji. I want to come back to Margaret. Is it Margaret? Marquette. Marquette, Marquette he, later. Yeah, we'll blank that out. Let's we'll blank out the areas. So, yeah. Oh, sorry. That's okay. Can start over again? No, no, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I want to come back to blank later in the season when more of the mountain is open. <clears throat> that counts for something. Uh, laughing emoji. Glad you had fun. Kissy face emoji. Good and morning. The, I don't yeah. know what emoji that is. Yeah, it's like, I don't know what that is. Yeah, it kind of sucks that everywhere around doesn't have much open. And yes, it does. And morning, upside down smiley face. I agree. So I feel really lame even asking this, but is everything all right? Maybe it's my perception, but I just feel like you've been shorter with me the past few days. And to be honest, it was making me a little uneasy. So I wanted to get that off my chest. (laughs) No, your intuition is spot on. I mean, right away. It's like (laughs) nailed it. I've been weird. No, your intuition is spot on. I've been kind of distancing myself a little bit just with looking forward at the next chapter of my life with grad school on the horizon, which I'm looking mostly in a different, which I, I, which I'm looking mostly in a different States because I want to get out of blank. I just don't think getting into a relationship is my best choice right now because I've done long distance in my past and I wasn't a fan of it at all. I just need to take this time for myself and focus my energy and effort on myself. I've never been truly selfish my entire life, but I feel uh, I felt like I needed to do this for myself. It's nothing against you at all. You're an amazing person and have such a kind heart and good soul. I mean, did he spell soul like the yes, shoe soul? Did. Okay. Yes, I've, ne- I've never re- I've, I wonder I've what really where school he going to. I've really enjoyed your companionship and I just want to be honest with what I've been thinking about. Well, that's unfortunate. It makes me pretty sad. Not that you're focusing on yourself. I think that's great, but that you don't think that I could be a part of that and cheer you on. Also, it just feels shitty. Um <clears throat> hold on shitty because you've had plenty of opportunity to say something 
And maybe I'm wrong, but I feel like I deserve some more communication than you just slowly distancing and trying to fade yourself out after three months of talking every day. We were basically already functioning as as long distance. I feel like I'm a pretty easygoing person and along for the ride on pretty much everything. And it stinks you feel that way considering I don't even know where I want to eventually settle down. But if you've already, I'm so angry at this point. I just want to get to this. This is not, that's me saying that, that I'm yeah, angry. Yeah. Because yeah. I, I, okay. But I've already made my mind, uh, but I'm, but you've already made up your mind. I'm not trying to change it. I obviously want someone who wants to talk to me and spend time with me. I'm sorry. I should have been more honest with you once I started thinking deeper into it. And those thoughts only started about two to three weeks ago. It's just hard being long distance and needing to plan times to see each other. It's not something uh, I'm willing to continue doing. You deserve someone that will give you that also. But at this current moment in my life, I don't think that is me because I have uh, my sights elsewhere with life goals. I guess I'm just wondering why you even bothered coming to see me last week when you already were already thinking that. You're right, though. It definitely isn't easy having to plan time to see each other when there's distance. It takes me time to open up fully. And like I said, I am sad, but I don't regret this time either. I came to see you because I really do enjoy spending time with you and we have a lot in common and it takes me time to open up fully as well. And I don't regret it either besides not telling you sooner what I was feeling. Yeah, it seems like it was really easy for a while and I loved how much we have in common. I'll definitely miss talking to you every day. I think you're a pretty genuine man. <sighs> and had a lot of the traits I was looking for in someone. I felt the same way that you have uh, that you have a lot of traits I was looking for, and I will miss talking with you as well. Thank you for the compliment. I think you're a wonderful woman that says what she thinks uh, and is always looking at things half full and positive. Thank you for being so kind and warm hearted. Okay, Yamanika, what do we think? What's our what's our talk with this person? How do you feel? I mean, I have some thoughts on what went on here, but I'll I'll give this the floor to you. Um, I think it's, I'm going to talk to her, but I'm going to talk to talking to everybody, uh, mm. especially women. And especially I'm also talking to myself. The problem is that women don't, a, a lot of women don't put value into who they are. If you're putting value into who you are, then, you know, like, <clears throat> If I have if, if if I have a Tiffany's ring, right? Mm. And I'm wearing that Tiffany's ring and somebody goes, Oh, can I see that Tiffany's ring? Can I hold it? You go, no, no, this is my Tiffany's ring. I can't, I wouldn't just give it to you. I don't know you. I don't trust you, right? It's something that I hold sacred. I only let a few people, we remember this as kids when we had like a toy that we really liked. We'd only let a few people like hold it and then we watch it and be careful about it. Anybody who would make any crazy sudden moves with our toy, we go, you know what? No, I need my toy back. No, 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 let me, let me get it back. And we protected that. And somewhere along the line, women stopped protecting who they are, protecting their vaginas, protecting their hearts, protecting their spirit and their space because it, the, the goal now is not to protect who I am and, and let somebody who wants to come in and be a part of this sacred world that I have. It's now like, let me have, let me go find somebody that I can bring in to protect. It's like, it's all wrong. That guy is not genuine, but you also told him that he was after he was being disingenuous with you. He didn't communicate to you when you he knew he should have communicated to you and you overly communicate to him what he is doing wrong or how he hurt you when he already knows. He doesn't want to have this conversation with you because he's now chosen himself. And then he admits that he chose himself two weeks ago, two, two to three weeks ago, but he just saw you last week. Yeah. I got, women got to... Fucking don't get, and I know we're in a different world where women are like, oh, we be progressive and don't slut shame. And if I want to have sex, I'll have sex. You, you, some of you women are not built for this. Do not let a man 
penetrate your soul, psyche, or fucking vagina until he has made some level of commitment to you that has showed that he is there. That way, even if he turns around and becomes a fuck nugget, hmm. he you at least have done all the due diligence for yourself to protect yourself. The protection part of what you're saying is totally true, and it doesn't even have to be about sex. You're totally right. Because the one thing that I'll look back to and the idea of him being genuine, it's not it's not genuine. I can understand. Listen, I can understand he's going to the next phase of life. But here's the thing. You have to be protective of yourself where you first of all. You she wrote something very important in this email. We met on Hinge and live an hour and a half apart. OK, I know you guys had a good connection. But the idea that he's now saying, I don't want long distance and not referencing, he didn't even say in his messages, uh, you know, he didn't even lie right. In his messages, he could have said, at first I thought I would try long distance and then I would not into it. He's saying, I always don't like long distance. Well, what's that long? You're an hour and a half apart. You are doing long distance. You're doing it. You're not even like. You're not even three, four, six. Some people are long distance and it requires them to get on a plane. Yeah. To a partner. You know, but, I think, uh, but again. But it's not about the, I'm saying, but it's not about the, sorry to interrupt, uh, Yamanika, but it's not about the distance. It's more about, you're talking about protecting yourself. And it's like, you, you know, I guess a part of, and I know I, I'm not saying to her, like, if you're dating someone an hour and a half away, it's not, long distance can work, hour and a half away can work. Hey, you text me every morning. Are you willing to date someone who's an hour, who lives an hour and a half away? Because I'm not going to like keep this going if you don't see it out. And what he's doing now, I'm, I don't think he's been thinking of this for two to three weeks. I think you know, everything, everything is a lie. He was just using her. And I, and I'm not saying that, trust me, when I say that I've also been used. I've it, also listen. One things, here's one of the things that really got me that I, I want to connect to a, a relationship I had. When he says, I, have, I, I haven't, this is the first time I'm putting myself first and I haven't done that in my life. First of all, you guys are in college, how much life that we lived. She's 20, he's I, 25. <laughs> right. So what I, what I understand is I was in a relationship with someone and this person, the entire time I was with them, for, they, had, they worked off and on or barely worked. And mm. some of the conversation was like, not even that I, I didn't need anybody to take care of me, but I, but I did want a partner where it's like, you know, sometimes when we go out, I don't want to be the one footing the bill, but mm -hmm. like, you're not, <clears throat> you're not really working anywhere. So how can we expect you to ever contribute to us going out and having a good time unless you hit a windfall real quick on something. And I remember him always saying to me, like, before I got with you, I worked straight through. I worked hard for 10 months, saving up money, paying child support. And it was just like, and I would let him gaslight me with that and go, oh, you know, well, he did work really hard for 10 months. Mm. Who gives a fuck if he worked hard for 10 months? He didn't work hard for 10 months with me. Mm. I didn't really need the benefits of him fucking working hard for 10 months and having money to go and take people out on dinners and dates. But also I got with somebody when I first started talking to them said, women always expect to be wined and dined. And I get tired of taking women out on dinners and spending $40. That's when I should have known this is not a nigga for me. Cause a nigga you think spending $40 is a lot of money. Where are you taking <laughs> these bitches to IHOP? Like I'm the type of bitch that's in a bracket where nigga can should be, I go to dinner and dinner, if it's one of two people, we talk about 355 minimum sometimes. Yeah. You're complaining, and I'm not saying that as a brag. What I'm saying is if women take an assessment of what men are saying and check it, let me stop saying women because I know men listen to, and I don't want to make this a man mm -hmm. woman thing, but when I think women have more of a problem understanding because of the way women are conditioned in society and i've also said this about i just said this to a group of black women because black women have constantly been expected to expect less 
from black men. We've been, because we're constantly going, oh, you got to hold black men down. You got to be their peace. You know, they go through a lot of racism. You got to to love them through all of that. As if black women are not ex- also experiencing the same level of inconvenience because of race that black men are experiencing. Mm. We are constantly told to self-sacrifice who we are because we got to be there for black men. And nobody's saying, who's there for black women. I'm saying also as women, we have been conditioned so much and told, you know, women can have, you get to be bossy and have an attitude and all these things that women should have about themselves to make sure they don't entertain nonsense. That's going to waste their time. It, you're constantly being chipped away and told, don't have this red flag go off. Don't see this as a red flag. When a guy tells you that be relaxing, don't be a boss bitch be a calm woman be comfortable for him mm. be his fucking peace and then you women walk into fucking d- disaster areas what? because and- the only i just want to get this clear no go ahead go, ahead go ahead go ahead sorry about it. the only men i've never had a conversation like this with jared because jared's a good dude i've only had conversations about what women don't do and do with niggas who are trash because they're constantly trying to cut women down so that they have a plethora of women who have low self-esteem and easy access to themselves because they're trash ass men when that guy is telling you after the fact all of these things he should have told you and p.s only told you because you open you gave him the excuse we don't even know that's the real excuse you're the one that said oh you're distancing yourself because of it and then he just ran with it and then at the end of it you compliment him and tell him he's a genuine dude when everything about him you're not telling him he's genuine because you think he's fucking genuine you're telling him you're genuine because you're still trying to sell yourself to a motherfucker who's not trying to buy you i've also done it He's not trying to buy you, girl. You could bring out sparklers. You could bring out all kinds of shit. He wasn't trying to buy you from the beginning. Just like the niggas I dealt with wasn't trying to buy me from the beginning. But also, if I had protected myself, I would have never even gave them access to how magnificent of a person I am. Every woman needs to look at themselves. Every person needs to look at themselves and go, you know what? I'm a dynamic fucking person. And not everybody gets access to that just because they say they want access. Start being more fucking selective. Stop letting every fucking man who entertains you with a drink or gives you a little bit of a conversation that you think that guy deserves access to your fucking pussy. He doesn't. Make him fucking earn it. I, Yamanika, I couldn't say no. Do not applaud. Listen, I, I got a round of applause. I, 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 I want it. How do we put the whole thing on a T-shirt? We should put the whole, <laughs> the whole thing. Can you imagine the back of the shirt? Make him earn that pussy. Just is it say pussy on your T-shirt? Let us get smaller and smaller. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta fit it, and I I'm with you, Yamanika. And like again, do you know to your point of protecting it, earning it? She said something very specific in her email. Again, she says, "I don't even have a question. I need a. I'm just so baffled by the whole thing, heartbroken that I'd like to admit for something that was never even official. It doesn't have to be official for both of you to be official." It was official yeah. for you. And the biggest, I, I, don't, I hate to call this a mistake because we all do it, is we don't admit to that. She never, and, and that's protection. When you go, I'm, you're the best. I never meet guys on dating apps. You're the only one I've ever met. You, I'm in a relationship with you. I'm in a relationship with you. And I, you know, listen, I'm, 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 I'm driving these hour and a half. I'm, you're coming to my place. We're going skiing. This is great. And let that scare the guy away because let him make, make you have to put people in a position to make them think because guys break up as they see the trouble coming. I think women break up when they see all the trouble that's been in the rear view mirror. Mm-hmm. They tr- women try and try again and then they go, I can't keep fucking trying. I'm out. Guys see, I'm going to have to try. Uh-uh. Right. Hey, I've been thinking right. about this for two to three weeks and whatever. I think he saw uh, in the he, he looked ahead and you're sitting there trying to looking behind going, hey, I'm trying to work on this. What's going on? And he's going, you're exactly right. And he bans. That doesn't communicate 
And and the thing about it is there is it's something I had to learn and it's it's it hurt. It hurts. You when you in my last situation, my last breakup, I looked at the woman that came after me mm. and how nice she seemed and sweet and 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 all of these things I kept going, I'm not that and I'm I'm a bitch, like he says, and I'm mean and I'm and I'm this and and I go, she is a person that he is doing all these things I asked him to do for me. He did for her. And I think we have to also be very cautious of that because this guy is a dick. Mm-hmm. My last situation was a dick. And I've and not just him, I've dealt with some guys who were dicks, and I've also been a dick at some point. Mm-hmm. People don't change. So I don't want this girl to get kind of get caught up in like, oh, was it me? What, what, what could I do? Because the same guy that he is, he's gonna continue to be that to every woman, even if there's a woman that he finally goes, you know what, I'm gonna try to do, I'm gonna settle and do. That is a personality fault of his that he has brought from his childhood where he never thought about himself and never put himself first. (laughs) Don't forget to like the video you just watched. I have many more. Subscribe to the channel right now. Like and subscribe, like and subscribe, like and subscribe, you fool. There's even a bell you can click to. Now you've got your week set Monday through Friday. I'm here for you.